G'day people, this is Sharpino here. Welcome you guys to episode number 42 of the Pokemon Soulstone Shiny Lock. Today we have reached a new city, Ocean View City. And there's quite a bit for us to explore. So why don't we get right into that, shall we? Before we do anything else, let's go talk to the people above here and see if there's anything. The Megastone Vendor. Okay. Epoch Electronite. Zartunite. Meganuanite. We do have a Meganium, so you know what? I'm going to buy that one. And a Jumpluff. Really? Okay, so we got ourselves quite a few. And they change every day, so I can just change the dates and buy a different ones. Um, let's see. I'm the Pokemon Breeder. Okay. Choose from one of our specially bred Pokemon. Okay, maybe that's something I could do off screen, maybe. The Pokey Inventor. Okay. A Pokeball that will add 50 EVs to the Pokeball that you catch? What the hell? Well, that seems pretty pointless. I mean, at this point in the game, it's pretty pointless. If you offered that early in the game, maybe that actually would have been good. Because, as I mentioned earlier, getting EVs at the start of the game is, like, ridiculous. So we've got quite a few buildings to explore over here. So we have this building over here. Aha! This is my jam! Ah, a visitor. Welcome. I haven't seen you around before. Have you come to play at the Ocean View Casino? To do so, you'll require a coin case. And rim! With that in hand, you can buy and store your coins. You can then exchange... Oh my god, this music. Jeez, I feel like I'm on a game show. <laughs> You can then exchange those coins for fabulous prizes at any of the vendors on the floor of the downstairs one. Okay, so now there's... Is that Breloom? Bullshit! <laughs> so we found a hidden Breloom over here. Uh... <laughs> okay. Alright, so I'm guessing this is the Voltorb table. Um... Now, let's talk to these people. So, are you the... You're the one that sells the money. Yeah. Alright, where are the prizes? Oh, this is the lottery corner. Okay. Let's look up the lucky number. And do anything... Congratulations! Your ID number of your PC box buzz matches your lottery number. Oh, our, um... Our Epoch e uh, Beedrill. We get a PP up P. Wow, that's awesome. Okay, here are the prizes. Wait a second. Okay, so... Red card, metronome, weakness policy, flying shield. Okay, I don't think I've heard of a flying shield before. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh, okay, this is the Pokemon. So, Epoch, Ladybug, Morlo, Swablu. Ooh. For Epoch, Venipede, and Epoch, Eevee. Wow. Ooh, that's tough. Epoch, Swablu, and Epoch, Eevee are definitely crying out to me. You saw how awesome those Epoch evolutions of Eevee were last episode. And this one is Toxic, Facade, Stone Edge, and Th Wow! Those are some awesome moves. Oh my goodness. Okay, we're definitely going to be here a while. Courage the Clown. Oh, hello, Traveler! Are you here to participate in the Ocean View Triple Triad Tournament? We invite the number of professional and amateur players from all across the Epoch region to try their pardon the pun, hand at the game of Triple Triad! We'd like to join the tournament. There are some fantastic prizes available for winning. No. <coughs> Triple Triad is a game that involves both skill and luck. Okay, personally, I've had heard of this game in previous Pokemon games. I personally don't know how it works, so I'm just going to leave it alone. I think it's also in... <coughs> Excuse me. I believe it's also in some Final Fantasy games, I'm pretty sure. And this is just a rip-off of it, but I'm not too sure. Okay, what prize do we have here? Toxic Orb, Yellow Flute, we already have that, and the Fighting Shield. So we have a Flying Shield and the Fighting Shield. So two shields that we haven't heard of before. Okay. More Pokemon! Okay, Epoch Weedle. Well, we got the Epoch Beedrill, so we don't need that. Epoch Shroomish. Interesting. Epoch Gligar. Oh, you took my, my freaking Hydreigon. Epoch Teddy Ursa. Epoch Larvitar. Oh my god, this is so hard! Epoch Lava type, you guys don't remember, is Steel and Dragon. It's my favorite typing. It's like my Dialga. If I had to pick, it would be a toss up between Epoch 
uh, Swablu and Epoch Lavatar. Fall short. <gasps> Look at these TMs! Swords Dance, Will Wisp, Power Up Punch. Dude, we're gonna be here for a while. I'll explain the rules of Triple Triad. Okay, let's look at the basics. Triple Triad is a game played with special squares cards placed on a 3x3 board. Each card has 4 numbers on it, one per side. These numbers are also the stats. Players take turns placing their cards on the board. As they do, they try to capture and gain control of their opponent's cards. That's where the numbers come in. If a player places a card with a higher number next to that card with a lower number, that player captures the card. Thus, the goal of the game is to gain control of more cards than the other player by the end of the game. Okay, so what's the rules? There are a number of optional game rules that you can apply to individual games. It can affect card stats, how cards capture each other, the scoring, and the prizes. Okay, what are the prizes? When you win the game, you'll receive one random card from your opponent from their deck. Oh, so it's like anti-rule. They also This also works the other way around. If you lose, you have to give your opponent one of your cards chosen at random. You can change what you win or lose from. Okay. And, oh, and you're the card person. Okay. Oh wow, they've got all these different cards here. That actually costs money. Wow, if this isn't an epitome of real life Pokemon TCG or Yu-Gi-Oh or Magic or Final Fantasy TCG, any other TCG game. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Okay, but I obviously can see that the more expensive cards are obviously going to be the better cards. Um, so yeah, fuck, oh, jeez, 5,000. How, can we just, oh yeah, 8,000, 12,000. Gudra apparently is like the tits of cards. Okay, so, interesting. Okay, well what I can do is, I can talk to people off screen. Maybe I'll just do some Voltorb flipping uh, off screen here, because I've got to say, those, we can get some pretty nifty prizes in there. That Those look pretty damn good. Let's see what's in this building over here. Let's make mortar. There are a lot of corporate offices in Ocean View City. They're not open to the public, just to walk in casually though. Speaking of which, how'd you get in my house? Well, I just walked in. The door was open. Hey, I'm looking for a Galvantula. Oh, I actually do have that. I'll trade you either my Venomoth or Seeking for one. Hell no. Fuck that. I'm a D-list celebrity. Have you, you seen me on those payday loan commercials for Corner Up Money? I'm just waiting for my breakout role to go from D-list to A-list. Well, again, just like every other actor, actresses. I told my granddaughter not to audition for those unethical payday loan commercials. Speaking of which, don't fall into the trap of payday loans, least the ball from sketchy organizations like Crawled Up Money. They trap you in an infinite loop of unending high interest loans forever. Yeah, this is it's, this is getting a bit too real for me, because this is just sounding a little too real life right now. So, you know. Just a wild boothland. My boothland and I need to find a way to rack up more cash to spend at a casino. And you think running up and down the street on your bike will do that? When are the sailors going to start up opening up trips to the Tapu Isles? I'm itching to travel out there. Okay, so someone's talking about going to Kukui Isles and all that sort of shindy. I'm pursuing my dream of being an actor. What better way to do it than by moving to the big city where dreams are made? Well, a bit of luck is involved with that. I'm a long way from Berry Farms and Route 104. Did I make a mistake for moving to the big city? As a person who loves the city, no you didn't. Hello, I'm a Pokemon Happiness Evaluator. I can give you a range of happiness that your Pokemon falls from a scale of zero. Okay, so you're a happiness. Okay, let's do my Optimus. It's probably the longest reigning member of my team. Oh, well, your Optimus is super friendly. I'm a bit jealous. Maximum rating. Yeah, because that's that's what I am. I am maximum happiness. One use berries are crazy powerful in Epoch region. Here are some Shucker berries. They significantly mitigate damage from incoming ground type attacks. Yes, I do know that. Thank you. I'm so desperate to have a boyfriend, I will do anything, and I mean anything. I can't be seen alone, all I have are my looks. I'm a stage 5 Kecleon. Ah! Stage 5 Cle- Oh my god. The- <laughs> Oh my god. Jeez. <laughs> you gotta love the puns in these games. You, got, you, you just have to appreciate it, guys. You just have to appreciate it. I'm a world traveler and I'm conflicted on what is the most beautiful city in the Epoch region. In my opinion, it is tied between Frost Grade Town, Ocean View City, and Diadem Village. Which town is your favorite? Well, I've been to Diadem Village. I would say this beats Diadem Village easily, but I have not been to Frost Guard, so I cannot make an opinion until I have been there. Can you believe there are people out there that refuse to wear masks? Jeez, how insensitive can you be? 
No, they don't have chips in them. These sheep will need to stop believing everything they read on social media like Inkygram and Fartfest book. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> My husband is very passionate about his opinions, but as a healthcare worker, I can assure you that the government isn't looking to use vaccinations to remotely control you. That's as absurd as a theory as people that believe the Epoch region is flat. Good grief, where do these people come up with these things? Yeah, you guys are getting a lot of uh, real life situations over here. I can appreciate that. At the same time, I'm like, let's not get into that, okay? I'm laughing. I'm crying laughing. <laughs> My parents are both healthcare workers. They are heroes. Yes, definitely. Healthcare workers, they are they are the heroes of today. <laughs> Have you ever seen shiny gumshoes in the Epoch region? I actually have one. They look like that one politician that refused to concede defeat and ran that slogan that said, Make Epoch great again. What a song that he was. <laughs> oh my god, this is too funny. Oh my god. Uh, if you guys think it's a joke, I have a Trump um, shoes then. Yeah, make the America great again. Make Epoch region great again. Well, shucks. This is what the big city like. I've been doing all the wrong. Trying to make it li live on the berry farms. This place looks a little stab again. Oh my god. <laughs> Cycling is ever rated. Have you tried out the mini Taurus app on the Poke Gear? Okay. Interesting. A mini Taurus app. I don't have one of those. But thanks for telling me. I want to get a serious city and buy a new hat. Do you think I would look good in the blue one? I don't know. Oh my god, I'm laughing so much at all these real life IRL references. There's apparently a whole bunch of Pokemon that have been discovered in parts of the Epoch region that only recently became available. Pokemon like Epoch Vanillite and Epoch Timber. I can't wait to get my hands on them. Well, as someone who has an Epoch uh, Kinkelda, I can definitely say they are pretty nice. My husband's an idiot. I know you spent a bunch of money at the casino. Fortunately, I pay our bills and I also just won big at the casino. Enough to cover his losses. He doesn't know that I know though. He's, I'm just going to let him suffer a bit longer. If this isn't, if this isn't a real life relationship, Jesus Christ! Oh man, I blew so much money on my credit card for playing at the casino. They suck you in. What am I going to tell my wife? Man, this city is too real for me. Like, oh my God, this, this, this my goodness. Property values in Ocean View are ex exorbitantly high. Most people are relegated to renting because this isn't. There isn't a prayer of ever owning real estate in this kind of hot market. I've been pissing money away in the rent for most of my adulthood. Again, adulthood? I, thankfully, I've never had to rent. Um, I've been blessed, I guess, um, not having to rent. Because I'm telling you guys, renting is never a good thing. Let me just put it that way. Okay, so now that we've been to the casino, we've been all around. Now let's try to answer the, the questions. So... How many casino games are there? There's three. There's Voltorb Flip, Roulette, and Triple Triad. Question two. Which Pokemon is currently not available as a prize? Okay, I did not see Slugma. Wait. It... Slugma was a prize? Vanilla? Okay, Vanilla. It is not available as a casino. It is it is an expansion-only Pokemon that will be made available later. Last question. How is the move Cascade different to the move Waterfall. Ah, uh, ooh, good question. Uh, well, waterfall is one hundred percent accurate. Uh, nope. Okay, damn it. Well, I've never had Cascade, so I don't know. Okay, so don't. Oh my god, I'm just mashing buttons. Okay, can we just? Oh my god, man. Okay, question. Uh, Epoch Vanilla Light. Yes, post game. Now, last question. Um, Temple BP. There we go. Three red shards. Three green shards. And we can just best get the shard collection. I just sharded myself. Ha! What? Uh, buh, 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 buh. Is there anything interesting you have to say? There's a black market. Ah, ah, yes, there's an underground. There's a stairwell I've been avoiding. Uh, and this is it right here. So let's go down underground. Let's see what's down here. I think I may have boarded the wrong train. My mummy isn't here to pick me up. Oh, that is sad. Where's your parents? I quite enjoy traveling by train. Sure, it's much slower, but I very much enjoy looking at the countryside of the trip over. 
The food on this train station really leaves something to be desired. I hope paying for business class service will at least give me a better meal. You look strong. You look like you might enjoy some forbidden fruit, if you know what I mean. I have ways to get to the Ocean View Black Market. We charge a cover fee to go there though, since we blindfolded you on our trip so we don't you don't learn the location. Only trusted patrons are allowed to not have a cover charge and you become one by visiting the Black Market multiple times. But even they don't get a benefit of no location. If you want to travel there, let me know. Ooh, Black Market. Sounds interesting. I was here to visit my cousins and now I'm going back to Vega City. So this train goes back to Vega. I used to work for the train service. Now that I'm retired, one of my perks is getting free admission for myself and my guest. Oh, that's lovely. Good for you. The train has been under maintenance for so long. I'm too cheap or else I would just pay the thousands of tech air dragonite. Oh god. <laughs> well, I mean, I'd do that. I'm investing real estate in Ocean View Market. The, the market has been hot, hot, hot. I'm here doing some tours and now returning to my office in Series City. Which train would you like to go to? Okay, so now this train actually works. You can go to different... Okay, cool. But the black market has my interest. Would you like to visit the Ocean View Black Market? We charge $10,000! Well, I guess we'll give it a go. Pleasure to be visiting, my friend. Huh? Have we arrived? Indeed we have. Welcome to the black market, my friend. Feel free to spend your time browsing the wares of our various vendors. There's lots of items that deal that you can't pass up. We're a pricey bunch, but I can assure you, you get what you pay for. Where are we? Are we underground? It's best you continue to remain in the dark as to how we got here. It's to prevent people we don't trust from coming to the black market and preventing the disclosure of our location just anyone. Well, to be fair, you just told me about it. I'm just anyone, so just, you know, just putting that out there. It's what preserves the security of some of our resident entrepreneurs and enables us to ensure their safety and protection against the authorities. You dig? Anyway, I'll let you enjoy your time in the black market, my friend. If you need to go back to Ocean VC, let me know and I'll drop you off back in town. Okay. What the hell? How many times do you need to pay here to become a trusted patron? Something tells me that's just a lie to get people to keep paying to come and they'll never waive the cover fee. Yeah, sounds about right. You need access to a PC. I need to have a roundabout access to the PC. It allows you to access the PC without leaving a trace. It's great for people that don't want to be monitored. Okay. I charge $500. No, I don't need the PC right now. Thank you. The sale of Pokemon in general is kind of frowned upon. There are some people that would chastise you for doing it, but I found a loophole by selling eggs. It's probably not much better, but that's also why I'm here in the black market. The thrill of selling mystery eggs to people is a great way to appeal to gamblers that are looking for high stakes form of gambling that are more than Fortal Flip or Slot Machine in the casino. If you pay me $2,500, I'll give you one egg per day of a mystery Pokemon. Oh, so I have to keep you coming back though, so you're limited to one egg per day. Deal? No. Okay. That's interesting. Oh my god, there's a Pokemon battle. <laughs> These fools don't realize I'm goose I've goosed my Pokemon to a few enhancers to improve their performance in the pit. I'm raking cash for these betting idiots. I have to occasionally throw a fight here or there to not give off too much suspicion. If they knew the battle was rigged, the uh, they would have bet, never bet, and I would never collect my money. Uh, Jesus. God damn it, I just lost a ton of cash on that last fight. I came down here hoping to sell my Pokemon for some money. I have the super rare Pokemon. It's an Epoch Eevee. It's 50,000 gold. 50,000! Jesus Christ! I mean, it is a good Pokemon, don't get me wrong. And I mean, I guess it'll be good because then we won't need to um, get that from the casino. Don't tell anyone, but my Klefki has been able to unlock some of these cages for me, and I've been able to help myself to some of this contraband using a five-figure discount if you catch my drift. I don't have the means to cover the fee so many times to become a trusted patron of this place. Aya! You mo goi guai fai dai zao. Magic must defeat magic. I sell special incenses. Would you like any? Oh, you sell the incenses. Okay, I'm good. Please come again. Well, aren't you very low? Okay, these must be all the stores. If you want to fight me in a duel, you're going to join the tournament. Oh, there's a tour a battle taunt? Oh my god, that's the Kimono Girls. Hello, I'm the Pokeball Painter. Uh, For $1,000. I think you're cheaper. Wait a second. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Hello, my name is Harry. I run the Triple Triad Tournament in the Ocean View Black Market. Okay, no, I'm not doing, I'm not doing a triple triad. Sup, want some cards? 
Okay, this is basically just an underground... And exactly the same prices, so that's cool. Alright, so this is basically just a separate area. Now, we could get ourselves an epoch... Okay, there's a lot of people here. I am one of the fates. I'm looking for mega stones for canon Pokemon that have mega evolutions. I will trade you a stone from the same grouping of one basis in exchange. Do you have any non-traditional? Quick, let me check your inventory. So basically, they want the epoch stone. In exchange, they will give you the regulars. <clears throat> now, we already have a Marchamp pot. Some of these we already have, so you know what? I'm good. As you wish. Alright, so... Wait, 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 wait. So... These are the Epoch ones. Ooh. Do you have the Tyranitarites? That would be good. Let's see what you got. There is a regular Tyranitarite. We already have Venusaurite. Salamancite. We could use the Sable... The Sable... So, the Salamence site. Sup. I'm selling some rare Pokemon I hunted down. Each of my finds are selling for 5,000 gold. You get a level 5 with max IVs for any of my prized friends. Have a look behind me. Today I have a selection of Throw, Epoch Graveler, Epoch Macargo, and Dustox. Which one would you like? Hmm. Interesting. Well, I, I will say, I do like the... Um, the Epoch Graveler. I've seen a bit. I've also seen Epoch Golem in the in Mount Fenzu. If I had to pick one, it would be that. Time is money, my friend. If you ain't buying anything, then bugger off. Well, aren't you lovely? Don't tell my parents you found me down here. They wouldn't approve. What the? Why are you here? I have a super rare collection of fossils, friend. I'll sell you the ones that I found. What do you say? Want some fossils? No, because I, for one, I've already done my fossil encounter, and it was the um, Tyrant, so you know what? I'm good. But maybe I can sell some things down here for money, so let's see what I've got here. So, Relic Silver? Nope, you don't do that for good money, so you know what? Fuck that. Um, unless I sold all my good items already. Power Herbs. Rare Bones. <laughs> no. We're gonna find the proper person to sell that to. Because it's they're just not gonna sell it for good money. Um Okay. Uh big mushrooms. Do you take those for good money? Nope, you do not. Everything is so cheap to sell. It's just not worth getting rid of. You know what? Screw you. Alright, so here's Here's what we're gonna do. There's quite a few shinies that we can get down here. We could get the shiny Eevee for 50,000, which is a bit exorbitant, but you know what? It's an Epoch Eevee. I'll take it. Um, we could also get... Um, we could also get a free Pokemon over here. And uh, was there something else? Was, there was an egg, but I don't think we're going to do the egg. Just because the egg is going to take way too long to hatch. So, we'll be right back. I'll go ahead and shiny hunt for two Pokemon on the underground. And then, I think we'll go back to the top... And we'll do some gambling. And uh, maybe we'll get ourselves that shiny Epoch Tyrant. Uh, the Epoch um, Lavata. Because why the hell not? So we've got three shiny hunts lined up. So I'll be right back. When we get ourselves our next shinies for today. Hey, let's go! Shiny Tangler! <laughs> okay, so I was crazy enough to actually go through with it. Um, <clears throat> I decided to go ahead and try to do the Mystery Egg because what I realized was the Mystery Egg every single time is a different Pokemon. So it's almost like a random encounter in itself. 
So there were a few Pokemon that I got. I got a Torchic, I got a Minin, I got a Epoch uh, Zerua, an Epoch uh, uh, Rug and Roller. So I decided to go ahead and do this, and sure enough, voila, we have ourselves a shiny Tangela. So only 12 eggs it took, and that took almost 45 minutes to do that, just for 12 eggs. Wow. But in saying that though, this is a really good Pokemon to get. So you know what? I am very happy that I decided to stick this one out. So we'll go ahead and put this in the PC because now we've got um, two more eggs to go ahead and hatch for. So let's go ahead and put our Tangler over here. All right. Uh, so we have two more Pokemon left to go. We can put this Larvesta back because um, as you can see, here's my train boxes of eggs. As you guys can see, there's two of them. Technically, just over two egg, two boxes. But now we're going to go ahead now and soft reset for two more Pokemon. That is for the Eevee and for the um, the Epoch Graveler. So stay tuned for that. Yeah, let's go! Hoo hoo hoo! Lovely! Let's go! We've got ourselves shiny Epoch Eevee, which is a ghost type. Very sad. Um, because of the connotations. <laughs> um, okay, so docile nature, cursed body, and perfect stats. So, this is perfect. Now, here's the kicker. I actually did, actually did this, so now I'll show you guys uh, what this lady says here. So, let's talk to her. You should know that Epoch Eevee has its own unique ev evolutions and evolution methods for an ordinary Eevee. An Eevee will evolve into Epoch Vaporeon using a Sandstone, Epoch Jolteon with the Windstone, Epoch Flareon with an Ironstone, Epoch Espeon using a Noxious Stone, Epoch Umbreon to a Power Stone, they can evolve Leafeon, Glaceon using a Swarm Stone and Gemstone, lastly evolve the Sylveon using a Royal Stone. And she sells all the stones, so the question is, which one do I bloody use? Because I have no idea which one to use, because... We might have to come back here later on. That's that's or I just have to make a decision before I leave here because that is probably what I have to do. Now, the next shiny that we have to go for is our Epoch Graveler. So I'll be right back and we go ahead and get ourselves our next shiny for Epoch Graveler. Stay tuned. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> wow, I love this shiny. I, I, when I first started the series, I saw Epoch Geodude in the cave right next to Route 2. And I saw Epoch Geodude, I was like, oh my god, I have to get this shiny. And now, look at it, it's a red shiny. You know me, I love me red shinies. Oh my god. And it has flame body, which is actually pretty good. Unfortunately, Rock Fire is one of the worst typings because it has so many double weaknesses. It is double weak to ground. It is double weak to water. That's it. <laughs> Pretty much uh, like Ghost Dragon, just double weak to... Well, not double weak. I mean, the worst typing I think is Ice and Rock. I'm pretty sure that is the worst typing. But Rock and Fire, not too far behind it. But it is a beautiful shiny nevertheless, so I'm happy with that. So... What we're going to do now is we're going to break again. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend some time playing Voltorb Flip. I'm going to go into the um, go into the casino, do some Voltorb Flip, do my thing, and um, we'll, once we get enough money to buy everything, we'll come back and I'll have all the TMs I want bought from the casino, and I will be soft resetting for that shiny Epoch Lavatar. So stay tuned for the next shiny for this episode. Yeah, let's go! Hoo hoo hoo! Woo, look at that! Shiny um, Epoch Lavatar at 80 soft resets. 
Okay, that does look very nice. Uh, one second, I just realized the audio has been off. Oh, there it is. Okay. So we're back now. <clears throat> so, here we are. Epoch Lavatar. Alright, so, very nice color. Modest nature, with magnet pool. I don't see this being a special attacker, and as you guys can see, I'm wearing a different shirt because it's a different day. So, you know. Um, but yeah, because I played a lot of Voltorb Flip. A lot of Voltorb Flip. I bought all the TMs, and um, I had enough to do uh, one hunt for Lavatar. I've got like a thousand bucks left. We'll see if we can buy something else here. Um, Lax Incense, Yellow Flute. Actually, Yellow Flute actually would be too bad because the Yellow Flute is a permanent battle. Oh, wait, don't I already have one? In before I just made a huge fail. <laughs> God damn it. I, yep, I already had one. <laughs> Alright, so I guess we'll leave this jazzy music going on here. As I say, thank you for watching today's episode. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure you like the button down below because, as always, your support is very appreciated. Um, by the time this video comes out, uh, Legend Arceus will be out, so stay tuned for my Legend Arceus. Um, let's play if you guys want to check that out link in the description down below and also at the end of this video There'll be a playlist for my uh, legend Arceus. Let's play so hopefully you guys will enjoy that So, um, thanks for watching and until the next time I'll see you guys in the next video stay safe stay sharp and I'll catch you guys all next time Later <laughs>